Hi there, happy Tuesday. Um, I got some questions about the settings in Seesaw, so I thought I would pop on really quick and just share um, some of the things in settings in Seesaw. Okay, so to access the settings in Seesaw, you'll just click on that little wrench thing up there and then this will bring up all of your setting stuff. So you can go here and you can edit um, the name of your class, you can edit your grade level, and the grade level doesn't really matter. What it does is it'll just pull activities for you based on the grade level that you choose. Um, you can also in Seesaw add teachers, so if you co-teach with someone, you can add a teacher here, um, which is really nice. Um, you can change the theme, which is just the color or the icon over here so you can go in and you can edit those anytime um, for settings here in under students so this is an important one to pay attention to the student sign-in mode um, because if you click on that it'll give you three options so you're either your class either shares devices or they use one-to-one -one devices or they are going to use their Google if you're using the G Suite though you'll, you'll want to make sure that you check this one and I just wanted to share some of the differences between the three um, settings. So if your class does share devices, Seesaw makes it really easy. It's important that you check that one in your settings. And what'll happen is the kids will pick up any device in the classroom. They'll take a picture or do their project or complete a challenge or add something to their journal. And then every time it'll say before they upload, it'll show them a list of all of the um, students in the class. And then they'll just find their name, check it. And if they're working to like with a partner or working together, um, they can choose more than one name. So if they're in a group, they could choose like the two people's names and then they can upload it and it'll pop up in both of their journals. So there's not going to be a signing in, signing out. You just sign in once to your class if you're using shared devices. So on every device you're using, you would sign in to your class on all of those devices and then it wouldn't matter. The kids would pick up any device, do their thing, upload it to their journal, and then every time it'll, it'll give them the list of their names, they'll check theirs and then say upload and it will put that, put that project in their journal. And then for the one-to-one, -one, it, it'll just have them sign in one time, period. So they'll sign in, they'll either, you'll either give them a, a letter code that I'll show you how to get, or they can scan the QR code within Seesaw. They'll sign in one time, they'll choose their name, say this is me, and then they only have to sign in one time. And if you are using G Suite with your class, you might you may want to consider using their G Suite email account to sign into Seesaw. And the reason for this is if they use their G Suite, they can sign in to multiple classes at a time. So if kids are, are moving classes, so like if I have a class and then my kids move next door to Mrs. Smith's class and she has a Seesaw, they can sign in to both at the same time. They can toggle between the two classes without having to sign out and then sign back in. Um, with the one to one shared devices, or not, I'm sorry, with the one-to-one -one devices, if you're one-to-one -one and they're moving back and forth and you're using that setting, they will have to sign out of my class and then into her class. And then when they come back to my class, they would sign out of her class and back into my class. So just something to think about if you are using G Suite and you are shuffling kids around. All right, so to go back, you'll just press that little button and then you can, um, here with the students, manage students, this is another thing that is not, a lot of people know about so you see you have one I have one student here I can go down and like if I get a new student I can just add a student's name right there and click add if I wanted to edit this student I can go in and I can change the name like if I accidentally spelled it wrong I can change the icon right here um, so you can choose the kids can choose an emoji if they want or you can even have you can grab a photo of the student if you choose to do that so I've seen teachers even use this as a reward type thing. So if they earn so many points or whatever, they can go in, the, the teacher lets the kid go in and choose which emoji they want. And the kids, especially younger kids, really seem to enjoy doing that. Okay, that's a lot of Seesaw stuff for one day. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. I'd love to hear about how you're using Seesaw in your class or if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. So have a great week.